When I published my previous video, Painting Stones 101, I had no idea I'd be asked so many questions relating to the paint I use. So in this video, I'll cover the basics of what products I use and why I pick them. When you set out on any painting job, the first decision you're going to have to make is whether you're going to use enamel or acrylic paints. Enamel paints are oil-based, so any thinning or cleaning up will need to be done with oil-based thinners, such as turpentine. This means that the job will be smelly, require specialist products requiring care to protect your health and safety, and it's most definitely not child-friendly activity. Enamel paint is, however, very hardy and long-lasting, and it'll give you great coverage on the porous surface of your stone. Acrylic paints are water-based, so your thinning and cleaning up can be done with water. Acrylics are not smelly, and they're far more child-safe than enamels. They're also often much cheaper to buy, and if your creations are made with proper care, they can be relatively long-lasting. For those reasons, mostly for the child-friendly aspect, I always choose to use acrylic paints when making painted stones. There's an incredibly wide variety of acrylic paint types for you to consider for your project. And in this video, I'd like to look at three very broad groups. Art paints, poster paints, and interior house paints. Taking a look at art paints will be a very short process, as there's not much to tell you. They're generally very watery and intended for painting on paper or canvas. They are entirely unsuitable for painting stones, as the stones will absorb the water and the paint pretty much instantly, giving you thin, weak and inconsistent coverage, as you can see in this demonstration. Poster paints are probably the cheapest paint we'll be looking at today. They're generally sold in larger volumes than art paint, and they're intended for the creation of larger scale artwork on paper medium. Because they're made to cover larger areas, poster paint is a little thicker than general art paint, so you'll get better coverage, but it's still going to soak into the stone. The worst thing about using poster paints is that the finished product is not durable. In fact, it's practically temporary. The colours will become dusty and flat as the paint dries and will come off onto your skin when the stone is picked up. Any exposure to water and the entire artwork will wash off. Lastly, let's look at interior house paints. In contrast to art and poster paints, this paint is made to cover porous surfaces such as wood and it's designed to remain intact and vibrant over time. We get our house paints from a local trade store that sells 60ml test pots. The variety of colours is incredible, and most trade stores have vast quantities of pots on hand, so you can pick and buy your colours on the spot without delay. The local store that I use is a resin store, and this is what their test pots look like. All of the pot exteriors are black, so I like to mark the lids with a little of the paint so that I can identify them easily later on. As you can see, interior house paint gets fantastic coverage over the absorbent and porous surface of a stone. Because there's a lot of paint in a test pot costing only a few dollars, you also don't feel like you have to be sparing when you're using the paint to do undercoating or when covering large areas. The colours are vibrant, they don't tend to fade and they will withstand being exposed to the weather reasonably well. To add really effective weather durability though, be sure to give your well dried stone a good coating of varnish. Any clear spray on or brush on varnish will do the job, so long as the paint has had a full day or two to dry completely, so you won't need to break the bank buying expensive products. Any cheap product will do the job nicely. And if you select a nice glossy varnish, multiple coats will give you a shiny finished creation. I hope this video has helped answer some of your questions about what paints I find best for creating painted stones. If you'd like to share any of your own creations, you can visit our Facebook community at this web address.